Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Arnold. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based in Albay. So since a lot of you guys are asking me about my editing workflow, I decided to create a tutorial on how I edited this image from basic adjustments in Lightroom up to skin retouching in Photoshop. So if you haven't watched the behind the scene video, please watch it guys. I will put the link in the description down below. So without further ado, Let's get started. So, ang unang gagawin natin guys is dadagdagan natin yung temperature ng photo. Around plus 5. And then, babawasan natin yung tint. Around negative 10. And then, dadagdagan natin yung exposure niya. At yung contrast guys is dadagdagan natin plus 15. Or let's make it 17 and babawasan natin yung highlights ng photo. Negative 52 plus dalagdagan natin siya ng shadow para mas makita yung details ditong part na to sa may buho. Let's make it 40. And then, babawasan ulit natin yung whites. Negative 30. Or 31. Negative 31. And yung blacks is, babawasan ulit natin. At around negative 40. Or let's make it negative 45. And then, sa dehaze naman guys, naragdagan natin siya. plus 14 and vibrance plus 19 so di na natin guys gagalawin yung saturation ng subject let's proceed guys dito sa tone curve so ang gagawin natin dito guys is maglalagay tayo ng tatlong below and then, bababaan natin ito para magkaroon ulit ng contrast yung photo. And, asa natin ito. And then, let's proceed sa U, Saturation, and Luminance. Or the HSL color. So, bawasan natin yung orange at around negative... 13 at pati ito yellow and set nyo yung green negative 100 and then and then di na natin gagalawin tong saturation so let's proceed dito sa luminance at red lang ang gagalawin natin dito negative 11 so, dito naman tayo guys sa detail. Hindi ako mag-add ng sharpening. So, magbabawas na lang tayo ng noise. Plus 12 or 13. Here's the before and after guys. Before and after. So, tapos na tayo guys sa basic adjustments sa Lightroom. So, ang gagawin naman natin guys ay magre-retouch ng photo sa Adobe Photoshop. So, right click nyo lang itong image and select nyo itong edit in and select edit in Adobe Photoshop. And click edit. Since magre-retouch tayo guys ng photo, kailangan natin i-duplicate itong background right click and then select duplicate layer and then click ok and then click nyo tong patch tool select the patch tool and start removing the dark spot 
or the pimple of the model para mas lumini siya. Then mamaya is gagawa tayo ng frequency separation. So ipapas forward ko na lang to guys. So, tapos na natin is tanggalin yung mga dark spots sa model. So, ang gagawin natin is i-merge itong layers na to. Select merge layers. At i-duplicate sya ng dalawang beses. Ctrl J para ma-duplicate ng dalawang beses. So, ang gagawin natin dito guys is mag-frequency separation tayo guys para mas mapakinis yung mukha ng model and para matanggal yung mga uneven forms sa mukha niya so ang gagawin natin ay click nyo itong normal and then select vivid light and then control i para ma-invert yung photo then go to filter blur and gaussian blur and set nyo yung radius niya around 10 and then select ok and ang gagawin natin is merge ulit itong dalawang photos na nasa ibabaw control select merge layers and click the image adjustments use saturation and set the saturation at around negative 100 and then click OK and then select the normal and click overlay and invert ulit natin guys Control I para ma invert and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and set the radius around plus 5 and then click OK. So ang gagawin natin guys is invert ulit natin siya. Click nyo yung Alt and then click nyo to para ma-invert using the mask. So imamask natin siya guys gamit ang brush tool. Select the brush tool. Make sure that the hardness is around 0%. The opacity at around 100%, flow at 100%, and make sure that the foreground is color white. And let's start brushing the face of the model. So I really like this technique guys, dahil mas napapadali ang pag-detouch ko sa photos. So here's the before and after guys, here's the before and here's the after. So sobrang nakakatulong to guys na frequency separation para mas maging smooth yung skin ng model natin. So the next thing that we're gonna do is dadagdagan na lang natin siya ng contrast using the curves in adjustment layers. So click nyo itong adjustment layers and select the curve. And as usual guys, gagawa ulit tayo ng tatlong dot. And babaan natin ito para magkaroon ng contrast. Konti lang and taasin natin ito ng konti. And that's it guys. Here's the final output.
So here's the before and here's the after. And that's it for today guys. I hope may natutunan kayo sa video ito. Give it a like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga bagong videos. Peace!